All right, so I guess it's been about a year since I've done this. A year since I've done that clap and said hello to you. But anyways, we're starting on an adventure. I bought a sea can, bought my own property. We're building a sea can shop. This can be the start of a series of videos involving turning a brand new 40 foot high cube that I got landed here in last September. It's currently fall spring in March, early March, up here in central British Columbia. And we're gonna insulate it, we're gonna level it. We're gonna put doors in it, exhaust fan, lighting, some really nice electrical workshop. My CNC is gonna go in there, bunch of tools, you know, a proper workshop. But, so in today's video, I'm gonna tell the story about buying it, getting it on property, getting it put in place, what I put it on. We're gonna build a device right quick here that will key into the bottom of the sea can and be able to use a bottle jack to lift it up because I don't know if you can tell from the framing, but we're slanted, we drop about an inch and a half um, sideways and over the distance we drop about six inches down, which I only learned, I only really brought the laser out and measured when I went to start laying out how I'm gonna cut the door and realize everything's like this. And I'm like, well, that's not gonna be good. So we're gonna level it. Thought it was pretty good. Turns out it's not. Um, and yeah, so let me just give you a bit more of a tour. So I just got some temp lights around the top. You know, classic Home Depot buy, exterior door, two budget windows. Somehow I got out of Canadian, or Home Depot for like 500 bucks for the three of those. It's a good day there. Odd size windows, that's why. Um, yeah, just got some of my tools in here for now. Barbecue in a box, you know, classic stuff. But yeah, we're gonna, one window there, one window there, door will go, Shade marked out the bottom here. Door will go approximately 16 feet down on this side. Yeah, that's a nice image, just the side of a sea can. But let me take you outside now. So as I said before, this this sea can's brand new. I bought it one way. So it was manufactured in Asia in July of 2020, and I got it delivered here in September of 2020. Under here we got a bunch of steel, but yeah, just walking around the back. This is where we're gonna to start today after I build the lifting jig that fits in those holes. We're gonna lift it up and uh, yeah. And later I'll tell you the story of... Uh... All right, we're back again. It's about a week and a half later. We're on false spring number two. Um, we had a good melt, snowed this morning like three inches. Now it's all melting. Let's go for a walk around. Quick backstory. I said I was gonna tell you how the sea can landed and this is it. Fence wasn't here yet. Obviously trailer was in the way, no snow. That gravel pad, that's just road road gravel, not washed. Yes, washed, there's no dirt in it. Maybe it isn't, Never mind. can't remember. Anyways, road crush. Pad, good. Dirt, messy swamp, dryish grass. grass. Up here, picture of sea can on a truck. Check, my plan. Drive straight down the street, back in on this diagonal, yes. He would fit under these lines I measured back up swing it in land drive straight out that way or that way whatever he chooses whatever works for him he shows up no not his thing he doesn't want to do the other option he wants to pull straight and make this corner and back straight in I'm like all right you're the professional you do whatever you like he then proceeds to immediately he puts the back of his trailer in the driveway immediately get the two rear axles of his tractor stuck in that ditch. Insert pictures, videos. I know there's a clip of me, maybe, can't remember if I said anything or not, sitting in my little mini X that I borrow. Um, then we finally got him unstuck after an hour and a half of him, us towing and then him rearranging airlines to put different lockers in. It was like, this guy was very poor at his job and that's putting it quite nicely. Welcome to the first intermission of that really long-winded story I told you before. Did you know that I poached this idea off of an Amazon thing I saw about a week and a half before I was thinking about leveling this? Yeah, the guy wanted $253 plus some shipping, I think, in Canadian for this. And I built it in like an hour and a bit. And I mean, go over there with the other junk of steel until it needs to be used again. Sorry there, pupper. He then proceeds to get the 
this trailer with the secan onto the pad and we had it laid out. I wanted it right there, so I marked out I'd like it right there. But his trailer was about four feet too far that way. So then I'm like, all right, hey, can you just rearrange it and put it four feet this way roughly? He then goes 12 feet that way. And I'm like, this isn't good. Go eight feet the other way. And then he completely misses. Wet spot here, right where his tractor's going back and forth. Gets himself slicked up after like the fourth try. Spins out. Obviously it's just two axle drive, I believe, on this truck. So between the uh, eight tires and the one locker he had, no, not getting it out, can't do it. So I ended up having my Duramax, which is parked for the winter there, and my father's um, three quarter ton hooked up to his truck, both side by side in the driveway. Had to pull it out while the secan was attached to the tree that's behind the secan. And of course this wasn't going well. And I just wanted this guy gone. And I'm like, man, I should have just told him to call a tow truck, but I just wanted it over. So we proceeded then to make the shot. Sea can comes off on its side at an angle. Really hope, I, I mean, we'll find out a little later, I guess, if we really tweak the sea can frame, but it looks good on an angle. I didn't see it in my mirror. The story goes, it almost went on its side and then it righted itself when the trailer got out of the way. And I'm like, at least it wasn't on its side. I would have been real unhappy with that. And then uh, he started packing up, had nothing to do with that guy, had no paper worth that guy. Really poor experience with that. Paid about $1,200 for him to pick it up in the lower mainland of British Columbia. And then uh, bring her on down to central British Columbia where I am. It's about maybe 700 kilometer drive, 1200 bucks. Canadian that is, I don't know. But yeah, that's that. So this guy's settled for about a week now and there was a bunch of thaw freeze events. So we're gonna shoot the laser again and see how level it is. And then that might be us, that might be this video. Let's just try and give her here. Fast forward my jacking motion. Now I never did get a clip of how off level this secan was. Uh, we dropped six inches over the whole length and I did that inside with the laser. Um, so I'll show you uh, how we actually know that it is level right after I do this and get something under it. There. Oh yeah. We're back here again. It's the next day. We got the lights off for now, but some light coming in so you can see the laser better. I don't know how well this shows up on film, but that's very obvious. And I did double check my laser. It is accurate. How do I take measure? 63 and 11 sixteenths on this side of the seat can. 60 and 5 eighths. So we still kind of come up another three inches. I'll get to it. I was going to be more accurate, but no, call it 15 16 So we're 16 low on this side. Turns out, so that side's a little too high, the side's a little too low. I'm pleased with that. I'm just going to go measure the middle here right quick, and we'll see uh, what the droop is for having this side of the sea can just hanging in the air. So if all is to be believed, we have 1 16th, maybe 3 30 seconds of droop over the 40 foot span in the sea can and uh, I mean I'm happy enough with that because I'm cutting near the middle and everything um, I mean my fab tolerances are probably in a 16th maybe here so uh, I'm just gonna go for it eventually the, the sea can will probably be supported on six sections and uh, yeah I guess I'll show you a close-up of what I made. Light's getting a little bit poor out here, but I got some lights. So yeah, it's a little, put it in sideways, lock it up. Bottle jack under there. And uh, yeah, that's that. Hopefully you enjoyed the story of uh, purchasing and getting the sea can landed. But let's try and... Uh...
Well, thanks for watching the first episode. Um, yeah, not really too much to it this time around. Next time I guarantee it's gonna be more interesting. Um, maybe if you have a bunch of good comments, instructions, help, suggestions for how to cut the windows, doors, insulate, anything like that, electrical, um, how I should lay it out, anything, feel free and comment, talk to me. I mean, unless I've already done it, you can look in the videos. Maybe I'll put them in description, but maybe I've already done it. Don't tell me how to do it if I've already done it. Just criticize me. You know how YouTube works. Um, but yeah, thanks for watching, I guess. Look at that dog of mine. Just sitting over there being a good old boy. Funny story though. So a couple buddies were over drinking beer the other night. Buddy left a beer in the snow. So I picked it up and put it on the deck stairs. And not two minutes later, I see my dog running across the yard with something in his mouth. And I'm like, like father, like son. He's already an alcoholic and he's only like five.